this action today is part of the 96 Hours of Action, which is a call to action made by a lot of organizers from UC Santa Cruz. Tuition hikes has always been an issue and will continue to be an issue if we don't do anything about it. A lot of the tuition hikes, for instance, the Occupy Wheeler happens, but we all know that Janet Napolitano, UC president, postponed it, but does not mean that tuition hikes will not go up. So the coffin is supposed to symbolize essentially the death of public education. As you know, it's begun to essentially gradually privatize with the fact that there's a lot less uh, student funds coming into the public education system to really try to stand up and fight and say, you know, you should need to stop the tuition hikes because that's really what this is all about because it's going to make it less accessible for students, especially if they're students of color, underrepresented, underprivileged. Uh, it's already hard enough to try to get by as it is as a student, as a student of color, as a student of low working class background and it's kind of ironic to see that you know the university is just kind of reaching out to these students and asking for more money when we are already cash strapped to this day like the geography department has never ever granted tenure to a single woman or underrepresented minority faculty we are standing up because right now there are, the number of students getting admitted to UC Berkeley from Oakland is very low and the number of minorities getting admitted to UC Berkeley is even lower even though consistently throughout the years the number of minority students that have been applying has been increasing but the number of students that has been getting admitted has just been steadily decreasing. Right now there's like a 22% minority altogether at UCB and that's completely unacceptable. The number of black students is below 5% which is a joke for a state that is the second most diverse state in the nation. UC Berkeley should reflect that and because the Bay Area is so diverse it's what makes the Bay Area such a great place. We have all these different people coming together in a melting pot and making this place awesome and for UC Berkeley to maintain its like status of being a great university, of being a university that fo fosters students standing up for themselves, that fosters stuff like protests, for that to continue being like that it can't be completely whitewashed. We need more minority students to be represented here. Right now you can count on one or two hands, all the Oakland students that get admitted to Berkeley every year, and it's an outrage. Napolitano and Chancellor Dirks have not taken a stand against the segregated policy that we've had since affirmative action was taken away, but there are all kinds of things they could do to change it. For example, just letting in students based on GPA from right next door in Oakland. It's a question of, of whether we have an elite university only for privileged backgrounds, or if the brilliant students from all backgrounds, including less privileged backgrounds like from Oakland, get to get in here. Yeah.